Hi guys, Coach Tiffany here. It's been a little while since I've been on um, and I actually only have about seven minutes, I think, until my next uh, appointment at 11. So uh, I'm gonna be really brief, but I just wanted to get on and talk about, you know, just that feeling of being sick and tired of always thinking about food. Always having food be um, an issue. I uh, I posted recently about food being, you know, eating well as being a form of self-respect. And um, somebody posted on there that she does either the whole the whole 30 or the whole opposite. And um, so that's really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the cycle of, you know, dieting or restrictive eating or, you know, just doing like a plan or, you know, trying to get it together and doing that for a while and feeling... Um, you know, deprived or restricted and then completely falling off the wagon and like eating all the things and then really feeling bad about ourselves and beating ourselves up about it. So if you've ever felt like this, if you're sick and tired of it, um, I am really stepping into talking about food and our relationship with food and that there is a different way to do it. There's a way to have balance and not obsess about it, a way to feel good about, you know, what you eat, feel pretty well, but also be able to, you know, if you're at a wedding, have a piece of that wedding cake, or um, if you are um, on vacation, you know, eat, enjoy the food, the local food, and not feel terrible about it, and then come home and, you know, start getting those veggies in again, and feel good about the way that you are nourishing your body. So, my answer to the call of my um, clients and, and especially, um, you know, just women that I've talked to pretty much everywhere, even at my, you know, job at the hospital, at networking that I've done in, um, you know, even like happy hour, you know, I feel like the conversation has been around food and all of these shoulds. And really what I'm hearing is that we are having so much pain around our relationship with food that it's something that we don't feel good about, we don't feel balanced about in our lives. So my answer to that call is the Nourish You Project. I'm thrilled to um, offer 30 transformative coaching sessions. So 30 people will have a free hour-long um, coaching session. And um, I did kind of a pre-launch to my, um, you know, my very, my, my most, um, my biggest supporters and um, to my email um, list as well. But today I'm, I'm doing a launch to the rest of the world. And we have, I think I only have about a third of the slots left. So um, you'll wanna sign up right away. The project goes all month, but the appointments are first come, the sessions are first come, first serve. So if you wanna get in on it, you know, make sure that you book it right away. There's a form to fill out and then a booking link. And you can either schedule it via Zoom online, make it nice and convenient, or you're welcome to come to my home office in Happy Valley if you are more of a um, face-to-face person or if Happy Valley is convenient for you. So I am I'm so excited for this project and really get down, really getting down to the, the um, you know, kind of the cultural issues and the mindset issues and all of the reasons that we have the struggle with food. And helping people to start to untangle that relationship with food so that um, we can have more balance. And um, it's definitely something I found in my life. And it's been the most freeing. It's been um, really powerful work. It actually makes me feel a little emotional. So to not have that struggle anymore with food has been um, transformative for me. So I want to help that transformation happen for you. I'll put the booking link or the um, link to my website where you can learn more about it and then um, you can book your appointment as well. Thanks guys.